Now, Jerry, the thing is, whenever I talk to a rocker, I want to talk music, and they want to talk to me about sports. So before you guys right. go, we got to talk some sports. You're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. You're a Seahawks fan. Jerry, talk about the Steelers. Are you concerned about their running game and about the big picture this year? What do you think about your guys? Well, we've taken some big hits on defense. Losing Smith is not good either, you know, and uh, losing him for the season is big. And obviously I think that Paul Mahler's presence, you know, has been felt, you know, not on the field the last couple of weeks. But I, I still think they're going to make a, a pretty solid run. Uh, I, I really like what I saw out of Mendenhall stepping in for uh, for Parker, and he's got the turf toe too. So, yeah, we're going to beat up. And, uh you know, I was kind of the. I was really surprised by that Seahawks game last last week. Actually, when Hasselbeck coming back and they pretty much trounced the uh, trounced the Jags. I mean, it is the Jags, but but uh, you know, it was nice to see them kind of step up because I thought their season was pretty much lost too. You know, so we have something to hope for. Who am I talking to? Chris Collinsworth or rock icon Jerry Cantrell? Hey, Mike, <laughs> on, Mike. On the other hand, we have Mike Inez with the Raiders. Oh, yeah. uh, you had to bring that up. Oh, no, I was going to get to that myself. Hey, Mike, you know, you're talking about the pressure of having to go out and go to work and be on road and tour in 26 different countries. That's nothing compared to being a member of the Raider Nation. Mike, how's that going for you? Oh, that's not going good. God, I was at the game <laughs> a couple of weeks back up in Oakland Coliseum. The fans of the Raider Nation is not very happy at all with their organization. God, I was, I was leaving the game. They're just uh, chanting, Jamarcus sucks. I heard one guy in the beer line talking about we're one injury away from being a 500 team, and that's Al Davis' stroke. And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, they, oh, wow. <laughs> they are not happy up in the Oakland area. <laughs> wow, Mike. You Mike. That one. Oh, God, wow. they couldn't even meet, beat the Cal Bears right now. Mike was saving. <laughs> they, maybe they could. Mike was saving that one. Kyle Brandt, that you listen to the show as often as you can. Are you a jungle listener, and how long have you listened to the show, Mike? Oh, God, years and years and years. I'm the hugest fan. It's just an honor to be on your show, i got to tell you. Uh, your voice, God, it gets me through my day. i got to tell you, my man. That is nice. I appreciate that, Mike. That feels really, really good to hear. Now, Jerry, you, you're a Steeler fan, but you're also a Seahawk fan, obviously, having spent the time that you did in Seattle. So when the two of them met in the Super Bowl, where did your loyalties come out? Well, it's... And then it was the best thing in the world for about like five minutes, and then I realized this is not really good because <laughs> one of them's got to lose. You know? Yep. Yeah, but one of them's got to uh, win, though. Yeah, one of them's got to win. That is that is true. And the odd thing about me being a Steelers and Seahawks fan, I'm a diehard home homeboy, so Seahawks are my team. But I am old enough to have been a fan of football before the Seahawks existed. So I was born in '66. So I grew up in the in the '70s watching the Steelers, you know, and. Uh, my dad was a Cowboys fan, so you got to like what your what your dad hates, right? No, you have to. You have so, to. And plus, it was just an amazing team. So when we got our own team, I've got I've got a equal loyalty split down down the middle. But uh, Duff McKagan and I and some friends went went to that Super Bowl. That was my third Super Super Bowl. And uh, I'm wearing my uh, Steelers gloves and my Seahawks. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> and uh, it was. Uh, you know, the thing that really bothered me the most about that game was was the officiating was horrible. It was it was ridiculous, and uh, you know I know I know that uh, a lot of people Careful, saw that. You're gonna get fined. Well, uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> nice. Fine. I'll go ahead. Uh, you know, I mean, it, in person, it just it didn't feel right. You know, I mean, it really felt it really felt tilted, and I never really felt that way at a sporting event before. And I, I walked out of there really scratching my head on that one. I don't think those two teams were allowed to play the game that they could have played. Jerry Cantrell, you know, Mike, you're settling in now. Before you go, Mike, you know, Jerry touched on something. He's got he's got loyalties to two different teams. It's almost like where your loyalties, your fantasy team or your reality team. Both you guys are fantasy players. Mike, how's your fantasy team doing? Uh, well, I'm in like uh, 47 different leagues right now, so I get get a little confused trying to juggle all the balls. You're a degenerate, Mike. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm going up against Matthew Barry this week in our league. <laughs> yeah, we're both uh, we're we're stuck in rocks at the bottom of the uh, aquarium right now. It's just horrible. Both of us have just horrible teams. So and you're going to uh, get owned if you run into Matthew Barry, man. You should know that. Oh no, he's, it's like he's putting sucking this year. God, he's sucking in our league. Okay, I was going to say it's like putting a base in his hands. Well, you know. Yeah, he's <laughs> Matthew is one and four this year, and uh, and so is uh, Mike. Are you all in five? Oh, no, I got. I'm, I'm chewing on a goose egg, my man. Yeah, you're, worse than, you're worse than the Raiders this year. I uh, know. I'm the Raiders of our fantasy football team. <laughs> These guys football talking team. junk. Jerry, how's your team doing? 
I'm not doing so good either, man. I've got hit by the injury bug. I'm two and three in the Alice and Chains Charity League, and uh, now the first week I got Donovan McNabb knocked out. Second week I got Hasselbeck knocked out. Third week I had I had uh, Leftwich in to replace him, and he got yanked. And then uh, last week I lost uh, Calvin Johnson. So I've got four out of five weeks I've been playing eight guys against nine, and it's been really rough. Yeah. You've had a bad run. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> Black gives way to blue. Luckily, there is nothing wrong with that. AllisonChains.com. It's in stores right now. Again, I'm talking about a band that has sold over 14 million albums, 11 top 10 singles. Guys, where are you going to be? Talk about the tour before you go, and where can the listeners find you? Well, we're, we'll like Mike mentioned earlier, we're, we've got about three Texas shows coming up in a row. We have uh, San Antonio, Dallas, and Houston on, I think on the 21st, 22nd, 23rd. We come back here and do Connor, I think, and then shoot a video. And then we're off to Europe for about a month and a half. And we're talking about uh, South America in December, or maybe Mexico, and then uh, and then possibly getting to Australia again, and then starting the States tour in March. So, And we got an extra bunk for you, too, Jim, if you want to jump on board. Oh, dude, I'm in. Yeah. This is the only <laughs> thing. I mean, look, everybody listening wants to do this. We all want to be rock stars. I'm down. I'm in. <laughs> Mike, I'll take you up on that for sure. Jerry Cantrell, guitarist and vocalist, Mike Inez, bassist. Guys, can't thank you enough. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. You guys showed up, and you killed it. Thank you very much. we got to do it again soon. Right on, man. Hey, thanks a lot. Jerry, great job. Mike, thanks for listening, too. I appreciate it. You guys did a great job. You killed it. Way to go. Alice in Chains is an iconic rock band. A great, great rock band. Honestly, I'm my personal opinion, one of the best baddest bands of the generation and i love the way jerry laid that out too that you know it's been four years in the making this album and if it didn't live up to our standards if it didn't live up music musically to the legacy if it's not something that we could legitimately quote add to the catalog we don't release it not like a lot of bands that have been around as long as these guys have that have to get something out there that have to get paid they put something soft out there just to get it out, to make good on their deal. His point was, we spent four years on this, and if it didn't add to the catalog, it was not going to see the light of day. How do you not respect that? All right, the fellas from Alice in Chains. Hope you liked that as much as I did. That was cool. Jerry Cantrell, Mike Inez. Mike Inez is Raider fan. We're one injury away from being 500, and that's if Al Davis were to stroke out. Heard that at the Raider game? Wow. 